You know, sometimes people ask me, that they go, Tyler, uh, did, did video games ever inspire parts of your life? Uh, and I'm realizing today, <laughs> as I sit down, and we're playing Crazy Machines here, that there's a chance that Crazy Machines kind of inspired my current career, my, my IRL career, not my, my YouTube career. Um, I don't do YouTube full time. I'm an automation engineer uh, for cybersecurity in, in my real life. Um, that sounds weird in my real life as if I'm, I'm fake right here. Um, it's basically plugging a bunch of things together to, to automate systems and, and situations. And that's exactly what Crazy Machines is. This is a, a Rube Goldberg machine puzzle game uh, where you're building out a kind of system of things to then interact with each other to do a bunch of funky things. Uh, it's really cool and it's really fun and I've played through this game like I can't even tell you how many times. It came out in 2005. We're gonna play it again today. This is the first time I'm playing this game in probably 15 years. <laughs> so we'll see how much I remember. Uh, I do remember being kind of smart as a child. Um, but then again, I was also like six when I was playing this. So who knows, right? Who knows? Welcome to my laboratory, Ignoramus. Before you start solving brain teasers, put all your items into the odds and ends box. You got two boards available. Those are over there on the uh, the right side. I can rotate them, which is cool. Uh, let's do it. So I got to get all four of these objects into his happy little box. Uh, and I have these boards. I mean, look, I was born. I was actually born in the morning at around 9 15 a.m but i wasn't born this morning give me give me the task complete he's crazy i mean he's actually just the the best best to ever do it um okay the the domino effect now we can start you're familiar with the domino effect assemble the three dominoes uh in such a way that the ball hits the box knocks it down let's do it let's do it okay so i mean this is straightforward right ball hits domino Domino hits domino, domino hits domino, domino hits domino, and then domino hits domino. What a brilliant play. Ooh, he's crazy. <laughs> now, I know you're looking at this and you're going, Tyler, um, was the age rating on this game four and up? Um, potentially. No, it was actually, th this game was very, like, highly regarded. I didn't even read what this is. Stack of boxes, they're shaky and dangerous, just clean it up. Okay. That's good, and I have a spring. Let's, uh, let's put the spring right there. Ooh, he's done it on the first try. Um, this game gets, like, actually really hard <laughs> towards the end of it. Uh, this is just them teaching you all the mechanics. There's 102 levels in this game. Uh, and then there's also a, you can make your own levels in the game, too. Uh, which I think is really cool. I, I wish that there was kind of a, a modern... Well, there is a modern version of this game. It's Crazy Machines 3. But I'm not sure that it has any online capabilities. It'd be really cool to share levels with people uh, and play them. Because there's, there's so many interesting things uh, that they end up teaching throughout this game. Uh, and hopefully we see some of them today. I'd like to see you land the tennis ball in the bucket. Okay. Uh, and I have a, a magnet. I'm not really sure what this box <laughs> is doing here. Um, we want to definitely put the magnet right here. Let's just try to magnetize the bucket out of that space. I may have to push him a little bit closer. It is like very, very slowly moving it. But let's maybe try to move him a little closer. Bro, it's like really slow. <laughs> Do I, do I gotta do I gotta turn on the magnet? Do I gotta gotta figure out how to how to reverse the the polarity of the ends of the magnet? Look, I took a physics two class in in college. Uh, many of you may know the. Okay, I'm am I am I losing it here? Okay, that's moving a little bit better. Um, maybe the red we didn't want. We it was just magnetized to the blue. <laughs> Still not good enough. Okay. How about, try try that? No, you really hate that. Am I just dumb? Okay, that seems pretty good, man. That's gonna go right in. Fans of the channel are gonna know my, my Physics 2 story. Um, I got a 36% on my first exam. C plus in the class, it was my lowest class in college. Um, I finished uh, with a like 4.8 GPA, 
in college or a three, not a four eight. That would be very, very impressive with a, with a three eight or four eight. If I knew it with a three eight, that stupid physics class was one of the reasons why I wasn't even higher. Okay. What do we got? I didn't even read what this is. You got the chance to, to learn what you, you've learned? Cool. Both dominoes must arrive here. I like it. Okay. Um. So what do we do? Well, we're going to need this bucket. That's going to, to pull said bucket forward. Interesting how they have this set up um, with the blue and the red right next to each other. Maybe that's a stronger magnet. Ma mag magnet. Ma magnetic pole? <laughs> I wanted to say magnetational, which is uh, not... That's not accurate. Um, it's gonna go, it's gonna hit this. Okay. We could probably put that... I don't know, we'll, we'll put it there. Um, it's gonna hit that, it's gonna drop. It's gonna hit the, the basketball. It's gonna go forward. We need to put, like... We need to put a domino very, very carefully here. And then probably, like, a basketball there. Clean. Great so far. Honestly, freaking stellar. I mean, we, we love every second of that. Please continue. You've performed excellently. Now we must talk about Steam, which is not the, the game platform. This is uh, Steam as in water that has been heated. Must go through the pipes. <laughs> I mean, look, brother. I'm, I'm stupid, but I'm not that dumb. Let, let's just connect up the pipes like so. This candle is heating the engine which is gonna make the, the steam's a boiler, sure. Generates steam, steam goes through the pipes, goes into the whistle, basketball hits the, the whistle, whistle goes off, the trains in the station, send it. Okay, now for a practical application, sausage must be grilled. <laughs> I understand, um, I also enjoy grilling a sausage. Well, let's get, let's get a heat source on said sausage. We also need a heat source on the, on the boiler. And then we're missing a pipe. This is gonna hit the valve, which lets the steam through. Moves this, moves this, moves this, moves this, turns the sausage, gets an even, even flame on this sucker the whole time. It's cooking. I can see the, the temperature of that sausage rising. And now I'm a little hungry. When I'm working, always seem to miss my midday meal. Bro, they're actually gonna make me hungry. We're going to build a, a fully automated memory machine. Okay. Um, so you want, you want me to, to move the box. The conveyor belt's going to push the box. The box is going to hit this. Okay. I'm, I'm in. So let's, let's rotate you. We'll put the little, what, what is this referred to as? The steam engine. Okay. Generate a rotary motion when in steam can be connected with a drive belt, okay. I mean, my guess is that I can probably just do... Okay, no, this is going the opposite direction. So we need to reverse it. That's fine. So let's let's go this to this, this to this. That'll reverse it. He's crazy. I mean, just, just simply the best to ever do it. I promise you these get harder. <laughs> I know it I know it doesn't look like it, um, but it, it will get harder. There's some really interesting things that this game presents. It's also 20 years old, okay? So Alexa looks back. We're, uh... Don't, don't judge a game just because it came out 20 years ago. I think the graphics are fantastic, in my opinion. The uh, new, new education system. Nail the board to the tree trunk. Good enough for me. Okay, wait, never mind. There's a lot going on here. I gotta connect... Well, first things first. You gotta get heated. Non-negotiable. Second thing, second, I gotta connect you to you, and I got six of these pipes. I mean, this actually seems, this seems actually quite simple. I'm gonna connect you. Uh, bro, there's only one spot it can go, okay? We, we love that for me. Start nailing, brother. Okay. Very nice. It's in there. It's in there good. Send me to level 10. Practical example should make it clear to, to you how the mobile candle behaves. Need to warm up the experimental goo. Okay. Interesting. Need to warm up the experimental goo. So, I mean, let's let's connect where things seem seem fit to connect. This seems logical. This seems logical. 
Okay, yeah, I mean, that's gonna work fine. That's an interesting one, actually, if you look at it. So, it heats up the engine, but then when the engine, re or boiler, when it loses the heat, the conveyor stops going, so it just ends right there. Little things. The little things we're gonna learn over time. You should be able to solve this brain teaser. At least you have enough experience. It's really very simple. Boxes. Okay, box gotta go in the hole. That's fine. That means that we need to set up conveyor systems here. That's plenty okay. Um, is this going to fall onto the basketball? Yes, okay. Oh, brilliant, and the flame doesn't go out. So so that's all taken care of for me. It's, it's genuinely just, it's just getting this guy set up. Now, can I rotate you? You know, I'm hitting the button. Oh, there we go, okay. Perfect. Let's go like so. Let's go like so. And then let's go like so. Put you right here. Is that actually going to get in the way? Nah, that's plenty good enough. That's plenty good enough. Okay. And then you'll connect to here. And then it's going to be every other, right? So what, what direction are some of these moving? to start. I need the I need to see. I guess I could have just chosen some. Okay, we want to connect you and connect you. Every other. This should be correct. If not, we we swap them to the other two. No, he's brilliant. Okay. Very clean. Very clean. Thank you very much. It just looks nice. <laughs> you know? It just it just looks it looks like I know what I'm doing. You're making progress, however, don't start celebrating. The tests are gonna get harder. Entering electrical engineering. My job as an automation engineer does not involve any electrical engineering. Let me tell you that right now. So I need to, let's, let's understand. So this is heating the boiler, which then spins the, the generator. Okay, what, what, are, what are you? Power generator can be connected with a drive belt, generates power by rotation. So when it rotates, it generates power, and then we, we transfer the power into the, the... I was about to say the lightning bulb. That's not what that's called. It's just a light bulb. Okay, so we need to do the same thing over here. Uh, is this just literally the same thing? A am I just mirroring the exact same? That's probably not going to fit, right? Did you like that? Yeah, it kind of magnetized to it. That's cool. Okay. Connect the drive belt. Thank you. Connect the, the plug. Thank you. Run it. Light turns on. Never been better. I mean, look, I was basically just mirroring what they already made, but this was to teach me how electricity works. I'm sure it will get harder. Be careful. You're dealing with electricity here. Okay. Lighting system not working properly. Connect everything up and light up your life. Oh, Jesus. This is going to look like the, the underneath of my desk with everything that I have plugged in to, to do content creation so we have a battery i just want to okay battery supplies power full understanding you go to here that powers you this goes to here this goes to here this goes to here send it I, just, <laughs> come on <laughs> come on it make the game harder for me if you may um i will tell you i don't remember any of this from my childhood the only thing that i very vividly remember is there's tnt and then there's little robots in this game and the little robots can carry stuff uh which makes for some really fun levels uh and then tnt like straight up blows up everything and i remember being a psychopath as a child and making a bunch of custom levels that just filled the entire screen with as much tnt as possible uh and then they would all fall and everything would explode uh and i found that quite amusing as a, a seven-year-old so uh we go again what do we got the clone i need a second plant like the one you can see above since my cloning machine is still at the development stage you'll have to do this using conventional means if you stick to the construction plan nothing can go wrong then you can take on more challenging tasks okay there's a lot going on here what is this thing Power disruptor. Power only runs when the contacts are connected. Okay, so if I if I do this, that does not. Okay, so that does not turn you on. 
So I need to make sure that you are, are also connected to, to one of these. So if I do something like this and then connect you up, now that generates you, okay. But I also need to do this guy down here. So we'll go to here, we'll go to here, and then we'll go to here. So what, what is this thing exactly? Electro motor can be connected with a drive belt. So we supply this power, it moves, and then it moves it. Okay. I, I just realized I was copying the top. <laughs> not, a, not a great look for me, but that's, that's okay. I made that more complicated than it needed to be. What else is new? What a, what a time to be alive. Okay. Solar cell is getting invented in the future, but you have developed a prototype. Incredible. Uh, it's, a, it's a solar panel. Okay. Solar cell generates power from light, except for candles. Okay. Um, so you generate power. So let's connect you to there, and then we'll put the light bulb next to you. This will generate. You're going to generate power. You're, you're going to spin. This is going to spin, which is going to spin this guy, which is going to generate power, which is going to turn the light bulb on. Beautiful. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Blinker device is a model, which I normally use as a test object for my students, but it seems I have mislaid some cables and instructions. Okay. Um, so power is going into the outlet, which is going into the, the spin generator, electro motor, whatever. It's powering this, which is powering this, which is powering this, which is powering that. This light should be, should be blinking. No, because you're not connected yet. Okay. Let's... I mean, let, let's connect these. That now blinks you. Okay. But we also need to... We need to connect this guy too? Because we, we can do this, but I need this guy to gain power oh wait a minute i have a i have a uh i've got a thingy get get rid of honestly just wipe <laughs> just wipe everything so we can use what if i just connect this to to there we can use this um light to does this stretch? It doesn't stretch to there. It does stretch to here, though. So let's just connect this straight to here. Right? So then now... That's going to turn that one on. And then we can use this... To power this. And then both turn on. Okay, okay. Very, very good. That was tricky. Um, That was tricky because... uh this doesn't exist yeah so this was you, you can always flick to uh their solution to solve it and their solution is that they just took this object and didn't use it at all <laughs> so that's that's kind of crap so they're gonna get trickier right experiments to show you the effects of c4 explosive okay i'm ready i'm ready this is this is what i remember one never knows when it'll come in handy connect up the cables properly and the ball will land in the box okay c4 explosive I mean, this seems extremely straightforward. I have a feeling that as soon as I run this, those are going to explode. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's the crunchy sound effect that I remember. This also kind of looks like half of an Among Us character. Uh, I'm sorry. Technical Inspection Authority wishes to check our fire alarm today. Please look and see if it is functioning properly. If not, repair it. Okay, what are you? A switch enables or interrupts power. Gotcha, I understand. So so the basketball has to flick the switches. We, we gotta get a, a couple more of these up here. We don't need all of them, I'm gonna tell you. That should be plenty. Do I really need to turn the light on? I don't think so, but that gets the job done. I'm, I'm good with that. Okay, 
Up until now, you've only built childish objects. Now there's a proper task. Hammer the nail in and create bolts of lightning with the two machines. Ah, even that is probably too much for you. Shut, shut up. I will be fine. So tennis ball is going to move. That should be good enough to get the tennis ball to hit this for sure. So now let's connect you to here, you to here, you to here. How about, how about we go you to here instead? I mean, this is actually like the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. Is this, this just good enough? Tennis ball goes, goes a little, little bumpy. I understand. Okay, fair. <laughs> how, how about we make you uh, a little wall so that you, you get disrupted? I, I think that that's, that's gonna go just fine. Beautiful. Oh, it's hammering. It's having a, it's having a good hammer. That's a good hammer. Level 20. Honestly, level 20, 21 minutes in, one level per minute, he's crazy. Billiards Club Merry Scholars inviting you to play today. At their last get together, I borrowed the black ball. Now I must return it. Put the billiard ball in the bucket so I can take it with me. Okay, a lot going on here. Um, you're going to drop, which is going to drop, which is going to drop. The C4 needs to not get lit up, probably until the ball hits it, and then it'll bounce into here, maybe? Is that is that accurate? Actually, no. I'm I'm realizing even further. This ball is planning on hitting the switch, which ignites the C4. So when does the C4 get ignited? Like, far before. Far before. Okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Um... I mean, they give us a lot of stuff, but I'll, I'll tell you right now, this conveyor belt can't move. Just kidding, it can definitely move. <laughs> it can definitely move. I need to stop the C4 from, th I mean, this is, this is not going to work. Yeah, that's just going to stop you. I, I'm just curious, okay, we're, we're going to do mild, we got a little marble too, which, which clearly has something to do with something. Yeah, so that's, that's not enough to get the job done. I think what we want to do is, is we want to prevent the C4 from ever going off. So I'm curious, if I put this marble right here, you think that he's magnetized? Okay. It's close. Maybe we can do it here instead? Right? They got those those two things there for a reason. Does that... That stops it. Oh, baby. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Now, there may be multiple... Oh, my God. Look at all the solutions to this, man. Okay. Um, so, they stopped it here. Their solution was literally to set up a conveyor belt that did nothing. Brilliant. <laughs> okay. Fuse is really very practical. This leads us into the section on fire and heat. Use it to light all three candles. It's much too dark. Okay. Remember when the fuse, when the roll is red, you you can't simply lay the fuse down. What the hell does that mean? Okay, so this is... Gotcha, it's literally just... Okay, yeah, that's easy. I'm gonna tell you right now, my ass does not remember this. Like, not even a little bit. And I'm gonna tell you, I made it past level 21. <laughs> I feel like I did all of the levels in this game multiple times, but I remember them getting very hard and I probably had to ask my dad for help. From now on, you'll be using heavier weapons. Aim the cannon to blow away the packing case at the bottom. I mean, come on, right? Let's send it. Cannon, do your thing. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Big fan of the cannon. I'm excited to use it again. Cannon, yes, the second one. Hit the packing case with it so that it puts out the candle when it falls. Use the arrow keys or the menu buttons to rotate the aiming. Okay. So I'm guessing... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's do it like this. Um, that seems like it's it's very, very clean. A brilliant, brilliant procedure. On to a little snuffer. Snuff you out. The goo is still boiling, but we'll, we'll look past it, I suppose. 
Blast-offs are dangerous, but very meaningful for scientific displays. That's why you should try to get a feeling for how to carry out a controlled blast-off. We got, we got a damn rocket, man. Okay. Interesting. Um, this is pretty straightforward. So this is going to activate the flamethrower, which is going to light the cannon. Cannon shoot the ball. Ball do uh, little bounce. It don't, it don't need much bounce. Just, just a little bounce. Great hit. Don't do it to me. <laughs> okay, fair. Let's, let's move you ever so slightly up. That should be a little cleaner for you to go down the path. Perfect. Lit the firework. And off it goes. Oh, baby. How nice. Okay. TNT skills. I'm telling you, man, the explosives. This, this, is, this is what I was there for as a kid. Once again, they play a major role. You have everything you need to destroy the wall, so start practicing. Okay. So walls can be exploded, can be turned and changed in length, get destroyed by explosives. Okay. So simply put, how about we do how about we do something like this? And then this guy I rotate you to here. That seems that seems like an ideal scenario. I mean, it just immediately got lit. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, and then you go in. For some reason, I thought the box had to turn this on. But the whole goal was to put the box in the box, brother. So we're good. Quickly, I need my basketball. Einstein has challenged me to a one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to be the next... Uh, that's the post credit scene of Oppenheimer. The weird uh, scientist in this... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, Tyler. <laughs> Nobody cares. Um, You think that, that this... Oh, you're giving me, like, a lot of stuff. <laughs> you're giving me a lot of stuff. Okay. Well, we know we need to blow up this wall with C4. That's going to be a non-negotiable. Is it a non-negotiable? No, we need the C4 here, brother. We need this to go here. Potentially just as simple as this, right? Yeah, that blows up the wall. So that's all we need down there. Now I think we need to get this candle squared away. So so light the candle. Then we're going to get a boiler. Okay. Let's go. Let's go up. We'll do a little. Wait, well, you, you need to do a little up and over when it comes to these things. Okay. So a little up and over gives us plenty of room for a good time. And then we can connect you to here, that to the C4, but that's going to go off immediately. Yeah, that's not good enough. Okay, so here's my new idea. We've got some leftover pipes. Let's, let's create uh, a little bit of time before this pops off, okay? So we can set up this now to go, we'll, we'll move you down a little, move this to here, this to here, this to here, and then I'll grab the, the gunpowder wire here. And that way it takes a little bit of time for the flame to get there, so that explodes and then that explodes. Okay, genius, genius, good puzzle. I'm officially a trainee, ladies and gentlemen. And I feel like that's probably a good place to, to end the episode. Um, that said, I'm having a really good time. So I'm going to go for like a, a couple more. <laughs> this game still bangs. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, it's actually like incredible. From now on, we will learn all about ropes and vibrating bodies. Excuse me? To help you get an impression of the material, build a clone of the constellation on the left. Okay. Beautiful. Give me a wait. Give me this. Give me this. You know what? It'll get there. I got faith. There's no grab. Oh my god. Okay. Fine. Great hit. Honestly, mine was better than yours. Loser. Okay. You only need three hits to become the lab's new shooting king. Little tip to help you. You can tie ropes... You can tie ropes to eyelets. Are you an eyelet? Seesaw, okay. Two ropes can be fixed. 
Okay, so I mean, let's 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 do this logically. That's gonna pull it down, which pulls this up. When that gets pulled up, that's gonna pull the trigger on the the crossbow, which is going to put out the three balloons. Never been better. Okay. Both these balloons have been hanging up there since the last C2H5OH training course. I have no idea how they got up there. They must be gotten rid of. Here are two nails. Think of something. This is amazing. Okay. We're going to launch some nails by dropping billiards balls onto the catapult. Okay. We need to, we need to stagger them a little. I mean, not exactly how you probably wanted it to be done, but it worked just just fine. I guess you could have put them all the way, <laughs> all the way down here. That's so much cleaner than mine, but I like mine so much more because watching that one fling across and hit the other is so much better. Okay, candle extinguishing. A balloon and rope should suffice, or is that not enough for you? Okay, what the hell is going on here? Absolutely nothing when we run it. So I like the idea of maybe uh, balloon is floating up because you're you're filled with helium. Maybe can be fixed to a rope. Burst when it meets sharp objects. Okay. So you're gonna go up. We're just gonna pull this. That's gonna hit this, which is gonna hit this. Is gonna hit the bucket. Bucket maybe goes flinging back and then forward to hit the, the basketball. Basketball pops over and snuffs out the candle. Yeah, that seems about... Oh my god. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Ideal? No. But guess what? Even, uh, even incorrect things can be correct sometimes. Broken clock right twice a day. This was their solution. Um... It doesn't even work. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind it. Their, their solution doesn't even work, brother. <laughs> I feel ripped off. Maybe, maybe it's maybe it's different every time. No, their solution just straight up doesn't work. Okay. Hey Einstein, dummy. How about you? Um, how about you test your own solutions, loser? It's a good thing mine was so uh, so damn brilliant. Don't even need the snuffleupagus. Okay. It's good. Catch me if you can. Uh, great movie, by the way. Fake, but great movie. Those were the days, that's when mouse traps looked like when I was a young man, since I'm strictly against animal experiments based. You may catch the wild billiard ball with it. Uh, are you kidding me? Easiest level of my life. Snip it. Okay, it's just it's very straightforward. Very, very straightforward. Now for optics, magnifying glasses are known to bundle light and lamps beam out light. Understood. Light the candle. Okay. You're a lamp? You look like a robot. Pocket lamp. Okay, maybe the robots were this, and I'm misremembering. Okay, so that'll be fine. We're gonna turn you on. Candle lights, goo boils. We love it. Full understanding. Exert your brain a little now. Find out how to transport the tennis ball between the pipes with the help of light and air. What? Now nah, this is fine, actually. Um, so this is going to provide power to this, which is going to light the fan. That's really going to work. I mean, I have faith that it's going to work, but I'm, I'm, <laughs> that's incredibly impressive. H how does that fail? Okay, it failed. It, it was much better. <laughs> Needed it to be a little less powerful, I guess. That's, that's quite cool. Okay, uh, two more. Two more. Faculty is expecting an important visit. Make sure the flag is hoist and is flapping in the wind. Okay. So flag needs to be hoist. Well, we know for one thing. You gotta connect this. Okay, non-negotiable. Now the flag's gotta be hoist. I think that you go middle and then both of these turn on. That is incorrect. Okay. Okay. Because this is going the opposite direction from what it should be. So so let's get rid of these. You're going to go like that. You're going to go like this. Those are still going the wrong direction. <laughs> okay. There's no other way that I can, I can do this. Right? 
Like, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not dumb, right? This goes, this goes, this goes. This is the same config. Okay, no, that works fine. <laughs> gears, gears confuse me, okay? They always have and they always will. My brain can't wrap around one goes one way, that means the other goes the other way. Mess, messes me the hell up. All right, we'll do one more. How silly of me, I've gone and left my tennis ball up there or down there, one of the two. Sure, um, so we gotta get the tennis ball into this little area. Got a lot of things at our disposal. Oh, this seems kind of tricky, brother. So I gotta get it all the way up there. Okay, I mean, I, I love this already. Because we're gonna have the bucket slowly floating up. It's gonna carry the tennis ball up. Then we're going to put out the balloon with the fire. Let's get the fan to blow. We're going to get the fan to blow the tennis ball into there. I'm not sure that weight is doing anything, but I'll, I'll reserve my judgment for right now. I really don't think that weight is doing anything. Okay. Is that is that good enough? That's plenty good enough. I'm not sure what purpose the weight held. Uh, I'm now realizing a flaw. <laughs> I'm realizing that there's there's mild problems. Yeah, that doesn't go into there, bro. That does not go into there. Okay. Um. The weight. The weight probably needs to to do something, right? Weight probably needs to do something. We know we need the balloon to rise. Balloon's gonna rise. But we also need. I mean, can we literally set it up like this somehow? Can I can I just connect that to the <laughs> This does not seem correct. I'm going to wait like 100 years for this to go up just for it to drop right back down again. Okay. Let's let's do something weird. Can I connect two things to this? No. Maybe we can force... Okay, that, that just does that. Believe it or not, the balloon can almost carry a one kilogram weight. Which is kind of wild. I feel like I'm doing something wrong with the fan here. And I feel like the balloon... Could I, could I move the, like what, what if I connect like this? That does nothing. <laughs> it's a great, great argument, honestly. I feel like I had something with the flamethrower. I, I think we need to bring the bucket up like that. But then we need some way to catch it, right? I mean, that does conveniently fit right there. It still seems like the weight is maybe just just nothing. But then how do we get the bucket? How do we get you you through there? Because, like, I mean, we, we can humor. I can use the... I can use these as, like, a, a bouncing block. For the tennis ball? Like, you go in. But then you're not going anywhere. <laughs> what am I missing? <laughs> Is this where my, my smooth brain takes over?
Like, th this can connect to here, but I only got one rope, so that's that's really not doing anything. Can I, can I rotate you? I can't rotate you any further. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. How, how about this instead? We put this here. And then we use the fan to blow the... Okay, and then I... I gotcha. There you go. Okay. Um, everybody was screaming, probably. Now, um, I do not think that this is going to work. And I'm gonna save you the time now. Um, I'm gonna move these the heck out of the way. This is also, like, much cleaner, too. So now it's gonna go all the way up. It's gonna, it's gonna take a hot friggin' second, though. <laughs> you couldn't have given me, like, two balloons just, just to speed this nonsense up a little bit? Dude, how did my seven-year-old brain figure this out? That's, that's not a, that's not an easy puzzle. It's not a hard puzzle. But that, that's not the easiest puzzle in the world, man. We got problems. <laughs> we, we got some issues, yeah. Let's move you a little higher. It'll be fine, okay? Look, we're just along for the ride. I do think that if Crazy Machines 4 launch tomorrow, they gotta have a speed up button. Speed up button would go kind of crazy, for sure. Um, it's a wee bit slow, I'm not gonna deny. Make Makes me... Makes me kind of crave the sweet release of death while this, uh, while this functions. But I got so much faith. As soon as it hits that first burst of wind, oh my god. It is gonna be good. You're, you're almost there. Oh, 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 we feel it. We feel it, he's going. Oh my god, I'm gonna need to move the damn flame. You're not getting any closer, you son of a gun. Okay, um, move the flame to here. That should be good enough. Now I gotta fill, I gotta fill the commentary space for another, uh, another 30 seconds while this sucker moves to the top. Spent like 10 minutes on this final level. Did 34 levels in about 30 minutes. Last one took 12 minutes. Seven of which was just waiting for the damn balloon to, to float to the top of the screen. I'm gonna buy this dude a new helium tank. Make sure he can actually get some stuff to happen. In real life, I'm gonna tell you right now, that iron bucket is not leaving the ground from one balloon. Unrealistic game. I'm suing. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> okay, back you up ever so slightly. I'll, I'll continue the commentary. I don't care. I'll keep talking. I've been talking for, for 11 years on this damn platform. 11 damn years I've been making mediocre YouTube videos. This one is not an exception. I'll keep yapping. And when I'm done yapping, you'll know. You'll know because I'm, I'm gonna just abruptly end the video. It's gonna, it's gonna, you're, you're not even gonna... You're not gonna know what hit you. You're, you're expecting the outro music right now? There's no shot, unless I forget to, to not edit. <laughs> I'll probably forget this entire conversation because it's uh, nine o'clock at night and I'm recording videos late again, which is never a good thing for Tyler. See, he's great. <laughs>